I can't believe I haven't done a video on this area any sooner because Cleveland Heights is probably one of the most sought after areas for people looking to move right here to Cleveland. People absolutely love the character of the east side here. I mean, Cleveland Heights, you got these tree-lined streets, you got these beautiful old style homes here, you got a close-knit neighborhood, tons of diversity, businesses. I mean, there is a ton of reasons why people are moving here and also a ton of reasons why people are deciding not to move here and we'll get to those here in a second. But today I'm gonna to be talking about Cleveland Heights, and I'm gonna be sprinkling a little bit of information about University Heights, because although it's a different suburb out here, outside the east side of Cleveland, I think it's something important to talk on, and it's not a huge city, so I probably won't make a separate video on it, but we're gonna combine the two, and also, we're gonna combine them because they do share the same school district here. Now, what I will say is both cities really pride themselves on having a very diverse community for both the residents and their business owners here. I mean, you got everyone who are attending the nearby institutions from Case Western all the way down to John Carroll and any business professional who's attending and working by the nearby institutions. I mean, you're gonna have everyone from different walks of life, blue collar, white collar, college student, you name it. Cleveland Heights and University Heights has got it. So stay tuned at the end of this video because hopefully I'll be able to answer, is moving to the east side to Cleveland Heights and University Heights a right choice for you and your family? My name is Alex Kolasar. I am a real estate agent with EXP Realty right here in Northeast Ohio. And if you are looking to make a move up here to Northeast Ohio, make sure you shoot me a text, phone call, email, because no matter how you want to get a hold of me, I got your back when moving to the area. Now, I'm sure you've already noticed this, but if you're doing a little bit of research on Cleveland or maybe you're from Cleveland, you'll notice that there are a ton of suburbs and cities right here in the metro area that have the word Heights in their name. You got Cleveland Heights, Shaker Heights, University Heights, Garfield Heights, Maple Heights. Look, there are 16 different cities and suburbs right here in the metro area that have the word Heights in their name. Now this, you're gonna find most of them gonna be found on the east side of Cleveland here. And now the word heights does refer to kind of two different meetings here, right? The first is the hilly terrain kind of found on the east side of Cleveland. The west side is going to be a little bit more flat, where the east side you're going to have a much hillier and kind of mountainous, it's not mountainous, but you know, a much hillier terrain here. And you know, as you go up some of these tall hills, hence the word heights. And also, back in the day, if you put the word heights into one of the names, it, it, it kind of it was an escalated status, right? You were a little bit better than other communities if you had the word Heights in it. Like, oh, you live in Shaker Heights? Instantly you'll know that's a, a more of a prestigious kind of community. Now that term has lost a little bit of its mojo over the years as some of the places are not you know, as prestigious as they used to be. But you know, it's a little bit of background on why you're gonna see so many places with the word Heights in their name. Now in terms of size here, Cleveland Heights is gonna be three times larger than University Heights. So you can already expect that Cleveland Heights is gonna offer a lot more than University Heights. But in University Heights, you got the John Carroll University. So it's a huge spot for a lot of you know young college students who are attending the university. So there's definitely gonna be some trendy stuff kind of going on in and around that university area. Now for a lot of people looking to move to Cleveland and wanna be you know, relatively close to downtown, we're talking, you know, 15 minute drive. They want to live in that densely packed kind of area, get that city feel. They want to live in a safe area. And they also want to be in an area that's relatively affordable. I'm telling you right now that Cleveland Heights is relatively similar to Lakewood. Now we'll say Lakewood is a little bit more trendy where the east side is not as trendy, but it offers a lot more character. And I would say is is on the route to becoming a little bit more trendy. Just not there yet in comparison to Lakewood. But if you are looking to move to Cleveland and you want that city feel and be close to downtown, definitely keep Lakewood in mind, but also don't overlook you know, Cleveland Heights and University Heights. I will say your dollar per house will probably stretch a little bit farther here, but the con is gonna be the property taxes, which we'll get into. Now, both these cities are honestly pretty amazing. You know, you got tons of food options, you got an amazing culture here, and there is really tons of stuff to do. You got the Beachwood Mall literally about 10 minutes down the street from you. You got downtown Cleveland about 15 minutes west from you. So you're kind of right in the mix of things. And on top of that, right here in Cleveland Heights, there's some pretty cool areas that I would definitely recommend checking out. You got areas like University Circle, Little Italy. Again, those are just, just outside of Cleveland Heights. But in Cleveland Heights, you also have the Cedar Fairmount, 
which has some good food options. You also have Coventry Village, which is a fun little spot and it has some cool bars. And then you also have that Cedar Lee intersection. We got the Cedar Lee Theater. And then you also have another, you know, obviously a bunch of food options right over there on Lee Road. So it's safe to say that you're definitely, you know, kind of in the mix here. One thing that I absolutely love about this area is the walkability. Again, I'm kind of relating it back over to Lakewood, right? You got these houses on small lots. So you're going to see a lot of people honestly kind of kicking back hanging out in the front yard. You got kids playing on the porches. You got people walking their dogs down the street. It's extremely walkable. Again, you might not have, you know, maybe a, a coffee shop or a restaurant or anything like that, really within maybe walking distance, but the streets here all have sidewalks, all gorgeous homes here for the most part. And you got these old mature trees. So it's definitely a little bit nostalgic walking over here. Again, it's that, it's that character is the reason why people love it over here on the east side. Now, if you don't have a restaurant or anything like down the street, chances are you probably have a community park like Kane or maybe even Walt Park right down the street from you. Really kind of offering that perfect blend of you know that community and suburb living. Now overall, Cleveland Heights is a relatively safe city. Now most people are gonna associate the east side as kind of you know being dangerous or something like that. Cause if you're doing your research online, you know, you're gonna run into a couple, you know, neighborhoods on the east side that might not be the best. And you know, sometimes it will attribute to the fact that Cleveland Heights does border some of these areas and that Cleveland Heights is, is dangerous. I will say the police and the services here are, are very fast responding. The fact that you live in a densely packed neighborhood you're gonna run into crime more often than not. And with Cleveland Heights being larger than University Heights, there is more crime located in Cleveland Heights in comparison. So definitely keep that something in mind. Now go in the link in the description if you are curious about the crime here, definitely take a look at it. I always use Spot Crime. It's this great little online tool that basically shows you police reports in certain areas. I think it looks back like three weeks. So definitely click that link in the link in the description and take a look at for yourself. And so that you can make an educated decision on whether or not you want to move here kind of, you know, based on crime. All right, enough talking about the pros and why you should live right here in Cleveland Heights. Let's focus on the cons and the reason why people are not moving out here to the Cleveland Heights on the east side. Number one, it's going to be the property taxes. We got pretty hefty property taxes out here in Cleveland Heights. Uh, number two is going to be access to the highway it's not right there. Let's just put it that way. You got to hit a lot of stoplights, a lot of traffic to really kind of get where you want to go. And number three, we're going to talk about the public school system here. Like any big city, unfortunately, the rankings for schools tend to be a little bit lower. Now, by far the biggest hurdle here is going to be the property taxes. People just can't justify paying $10,000, $12,000 a year in property taxes for like a $350,000 house. I mean, that's, you know, on average, like $1,000 a month that you're going to pay in taxes here. Now, Cleveland Heights, you're looking at around like a 3.6% of your home's value that you're going to pay in taxes. And if you head all the way down to Shaker, I mean, they have one of the highest there at like 4%. So this is by far the biggest deterrent on why people don't move here. I will say Cleveland Heights, you can find relatively affordable homes here. Your dollar's going to stretch a little bit farther for a home in comparison to some of the areas on the west side, which is why people end up looking at hey, Cleveland Heights, man. You can get a good house for relatively relatively cheap here until they start looking at the property taxes and they're like, are you kidding me? I got to pay like a thousand a month. I just, a lot of people can't justify paying that. So that is by far the biggest deterrent and I do get it. I always said if the property taxes were to come down to like a 2%, you would instantly see these home values just skyrocket. It's the biggest reason why, you know, people aren't moving here, so. Now besides the property taxes, the other huge negative here is gonna be the fact that we don't have access to really a highway system here. You do have 271 that's relatively close, but if you live, you know, not even that far, honestly, a couple miles away, you're still looking at like a 15 minute commute to the highway itself. So you're gonna hit a ton of traffic. It seems like no matter what time of day, it's always kind of congested. Definitely worse during uh, you know, rush hour. But you know, that's the, the biggest gripe. You're gonna be sitting at a lot of street lights. Let's just put it that way. A lot of stop and go traffic. It's definitely a little bit hectic. It's only on these main roads. You know, the side, sub, you know, suburb streets are obviously a little bit more quiet nonetheless. But those main roads, man, they, they get packed quick. And the fact you don't have highway access is, is definitely a bummer. You're landlocked. I mean, compared to the west side, you know, you're no more than five, 10 minutes, it seems like, from a highway that shoots all the way to downtown. So definitely a bummer here. 
Now, the last thing I want to touch on is going to be the school system. I'm not going to really sit on this too much, so please do your own research when it comes to this. But overall, it's not ranked that bad. However, it is a big public school system. So a lot of people that are moving here, you know, typically want their kids to be in a good school district. And when they see a big public school like Cleveland Heights, they just, you know, it's not attractive to them. And they end up looking other places, you know, like Shaker Heights. Now, keep in mind that there are a ton of private schools around here. So if putting your kids through a good education system is a priority and you do love the character of Cleveland Heights and what it does have to offer, then definitely consider enrolling your kids into a private school if, of course, it makes sense. Now, if you are looking to move to Cleveland, definitely keep these places in mind. Cleveland Heights and University Heights, both fun areas. I know I didn't touch on University Heights too much, but again, with John Carroll University there, I know a lot of students are always moving in and out, always a ton of young professionals kind of walking around. T fun little bars found through all out, and even into Cleveland Heights, all honestly really good areas. I hit a lot of the pros and a lot of the cons here. So if you are looking to move to the area and you have some questions I did not answer in this video, again, make sure you give me a text, phone call, or email, because no matter how I want to get a hold of me, how you want to get a hold of me, I got your back. We're moving to the area. Now, I appreciate you guys for watching, and hopefully, I'll catch you in the next video.